Welcome back to Back to Baskin. I am Back to Baskin, and this is The Legend of Zelda, Ezlo. I am currently... <laughs> still not over that whole Ezlo thing. Um, we are currently in Castor Wilds. We have to figure out a way to get to the southwest portion of this area. But we also have to pick up three Kidden Stones on the way. They were gold ones, and... Um, I don't remember if I explained this, because I recorded, like, all the episodes before this one, I recorded in, like, one sitting several days ago. And, um, um, I don't remember if I said this or not, but it's basically, we can't go that way yet. Uh, basically, um, where was I going with that? Um, there are four types of Ken stones. There's, why am I cutting all the grass stuff? There's, the green ones are most common. Blue, oh, I'm doing it again. Blue is less common and red are more rare. And then there are gold ones which are um, plot only kinstones. Like you know whenever you get a gold kinstone it's, it's to further the plot. And it only happens about three times uh, throughout the uh, the the plot ones only happen about three times the entire game. And this is one of those three places. And I haven't done this in a long time so it's gonna take me a couple minutes to kind of figure out uh, where uh, to get the three kidden stones. I know where one is. There's I know where two, two bars. So I, I, I mean, this is this is a small enough area that I'll be able to figure it out. It's not gonna be like a terrible, terrible thing. Such a weird word, glower. Oop. There we go. So this is where we want to be right now. You're gonna get an item here that that little duck scrub guy kind of spoiled what we were getting. But essentially it's going to make getting through this area super easy. And I want to say really quick, it's 1.20 a.m. where I'm recording right now. And uh, my goal, I sat down to record this, although I put it off for like half an hour. I was going to start like half an hour ago, but I didn't for some reason. And uh, my goal was going to be like, I wonder if I can finish the whole rest of this entire game tonight. Before I go to sleep, like before I get too tired to do it. And I'm realizing now that that's probably not going to be possible because while this game doesn't. God, I'm like running right into these dudes. While this game doesn't take a super long time, uh, I highly doubt. Uh, I want to see how many fairies I had because um, I'm being a lot more careless today. <laughs> um, uh. I don't know, I, it's that thing of, you know, I want to, I doubt I'm going to, but I want to see if I can, uh, I want to see how far I can get tonight, let's just say that. I think there's, there's like mosquito bugs in this area now, if I'm remembering right. Oop, nope. <laughs> I thought I was turning left and I turned right. So maybe this, there's a point in the game where you get on one of these leaf things and there's no mosquito bugs but then on your return back there's like two mosquito bugs and they come out of nowhere and you're like what the fuck so anyways we have the bone arrow now so we can pretty much go through and get everything that we need now so yeah, turning in this is pretty easy I I don't think it's too 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 terrible you know, too too terrible like when you have like a terrible 2-2 and it just ruins your entire ballet recital. I know that feeling. No, I don't. Because you'd be like, oh, Hunter, you took ballet? Not that you know. Alright, get out of here. You can get light ar arrows. Uh, oh, thought it took three. You can get a... Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> you can get light arrows in this game. They're not mandated, but you can get them. And, uh, they're not like in other games where it's like, oh, one one shot's anything, but it's, uh, no, it's decent. What's interesting, I think, about the light arrows in this game is you have to get them early on, and if you miss getting them, then you can't ever get them again. Like, if you get too far in the game without getting them, you'll never be able to get them. It's really crazy how they do it. So, you know, we just got the first Ken stuff piece, now we can make a little shortcut here. So who knows, maybe we'll come back there later on. Once we have a different item. Actually, no, once we 
few skins since I already went that way. So we're going to try going this way now and hopefully we don't die. Because that would kind of suck. Uh, that way, we'll have to check that out in a minute. Uh, I have to remember uh, where stuff is. I'm cutting grass because... Oh, there we go, thank god. I was like, I'm cutting grass so I can find a heart. And I finally did. Also, you may notice that I'm talking a little bit quieter uh, today. It's mostly because, you know, I just, uh, I don't know, I talk quieter at night. <laughs> you know, it's, it's that weird if, like, I have that subconscious, like, where I feel like, you know, like, oh, I have to be quiet well, when it's nighttime and stuff, when I really don't, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, I saw that coming. I was like, fucking shit, man. Why can I? Oh, I was about to be like, why can I not get out of there? <laughs> there we go. I don't even know how many rubies I had before. I don't know if I just took a loss or got more on that. Yeah, but I'm not really too worried about rupees at this point in the game. So I went that way, didn't I? Get out of here, you thing. God damn it. Yeah, I'm like, I really hate it because you know, like, whenever I'm like playing Twilight Princess, I just start playing, you know. Uh, I don't have to worry about hearts and stuff because I have so many in Twilight Princess, and I keep forgetting that this is a three heart run and I need to be more conservative with my hearts. But I have that whole Twilight Princess thing ingrained in my head where it's like, you know, oh, don't worry about hearts, you have more than enough, and then I get hurt and I'm like, oh my god, one hit and I'm close to dying. But, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die, I mean, I have two fairies, it's not too bad. I really wish they would drop some hearts, though. I, I mean, tell, I'm kind of unhappy about like where I am with hearts because I usually never cut grass and stuff for hearts. We can go in here though and get the second kinstone piece. Yeah, absolutely. Not that kinstone piece, but that's appreciated too. We'll gladly take that heart though, and some free bombs. My hair is getting in my face because it's long and stuff. Oh god. That could have been bad. So we get a dark net fight in here. Oh look, free chest. Nope. So guardian. Not called dark net in this game. He's a guardian. Just kidding. He's still a dark net. So these guys are super easy to kill. In fact, you probably shouldn't like take any damage at all from them. Watch me like take damage from them now or something. Uh, almost. So yeah, just do like the kind of. Run in front of them so they swipe and then go from the side. Dude, I so hit you right there. Oh. And then they do the charging thing sometimes. There we go. So, yeah. Just that kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> oh, get. There we go. Two kinstone pieces. And we kill more snakes and hope to no avail that they drop hearts. Oh, this one's running at us. He's like, hey, just give me a hug. I don't have arms, but I'll still try to hug you. That was, um... but yeah, the darkness in this game are really easy. Not quite as easy as Twilight Princess, but, you know, everyone's going to be like, but you took damage against the one in Twilight Princess and you just did that one without getting hurt, so. It's like, yeah, I have to remember how to do this. Let me check in here. I, I, I can't swim yet. Oops. I didn't mean to step that far. I have to remember where the gust gust guy is. There's a, yeah, the gust guy. I need to find the stupid tornado thing. Is this the way I want to go? I already went this way. Oh! Uh, b -b -b balls. What am I doing? Jump down. God damn. Well, the snakes can go on the uh, the swamp. Well, we can go down here, and like I said, I'm probably gonna end up showing off all the heart pieces. There's a heart piece for you. Uh, this guy, you can't learn his move until you learn every other sword technique in the game. Uh, what's funny is there are two sword techniques uh, you can't actually get until get out of here. I, I always found this funny because uh, this happened the first time I did my uh, three heart run on my other file. And it kind of, I was like, well, shit, is 
There's two sword techniques you can only get once you have 10 heart containers. And they are the full heart laser sword and the three heart laser sword. Or one heart laser sword, I think it is. And basically what it is, is how they sound. You know, your sword shoots lasers when you either have one heart or full hearts. The problem is you need at least 10 heart containers to get this attacks. And so in a three heart run, you can't get either of those. And therefore you can't get the final uh, sword technique. So you're kind of doomed to only... Or I think it's like... I want to say there's eight Tiger Scrolls. I'm going to check really quick. Uh, R. This person went one, two, three, four... Yeah, there's eight. So yeah, you're kind of cursed to only have five throughout the whole game. Even if you try to get them all, he would just be like, oh, I cannot teach you this until you have ten heart containers. This is the final one. So we're all done with that little portion. It took a little longer than I hoped, but... Eh. I haven't done this in a while. And, uh... Watching the D-pad do it certainly didn't help me out, because as much as I love the D-pad, they're like... Oftentimes, they're really awful Zelda games, and that they, like, take forever. Like, uh, their Minish Cap run, they just finished the, uh, the wind. There's two wind temples in this game, and, uh, we're about to do the first one in a few minutes. Actually, probably the next video. Um, but they were doing the second wind temple, and they were, like, 30 videos in. Whereas, goddamn, if I'm if I'm at thirty videos by that time, just shoot me in the face. Goddamn, I would. Because they took forever and dawdled everything, but we still have ways to go until then. We have the rest of this portion. Then we have the actual wind temple, the wind ruins technically, and then we have a uh, bomb. This I don't remember what's in there though. I think it's like mysterious shells or something. Oh, we'll go ahead and do it. I have thirty bombs. Um, but after this, after this Wind Ruin Temple thing, you have to do, uh... Oh, that's a good service. You have to, um, do a library fetch quest, which involves getting back three books. Which I actually really enjoy that side quest. It's one of the better side quests, I think, in Zelda. Alright, fine. Just get out of the way. I don't care about telling you. You're out of the way. Get out of the way. Give it away now! And, um... And then after that, we have to go to the water temple. Well, actually, it's an ice temple. And, which is probably my favorite temple in the game, just for the music alone. And then, after that, we have the, we have the, uh, the little graveyard side quest thing. And then after that, we have, uh, what was it? Um, now then you actually do the, uh, the second wind temple. Sorry, I'm trying to think and I'm getting tired at the same time. I'm sure everybody's tired of hearing me going like, oh, I'm tired. Um, and then after the wind temple, you basically uh, go straight to Vati if you want and just clear up the game. So, which I probably do. I'm not going to do a whole ton of side quests in Obviously, I'm not going to be doing like a heart piece gathering. So that'll cut down significantly. And I already know how to get everything I want in this game. I mean, mostly the stuff I want is I want the other two bottles. The problem is I don't remember... Are you getting the other way? The problem is I don't remember what two bottles I got. I want to say I got the one from Smith. Uh, for fusing kinstones. And... And, um... And the other one I got was... Oh god, what was the other one I got? I can't remember. I know one of the ones I still need to get is, a. Uh, am really surprised I got by that without getting hurt. One of them I still need to get is going to be the longest one, is, a. Uh, basically, you have to fuse with a ton of walls. There's, like, sentient walls in this game. And you have to fuse kinstones with, like, eight of them in order to get a bunch of Gorons in a cave. And then the Gorons will... Dude, get out of here. And then the Gorons will all band together in this cave and once they do at the end of the cave is the one of the bottles now see if you try to run towards this one he just goes and moves there so we have to, we have to shrink and go turn him off yeah I'm trying to remember what the four bottles are there's a oh yeah one of them you have to buy that was the first one it's mandatory you mandatorily have to get at least one bottle 
So you buy that one, which is one I got. The other one is the one where you get you uh, fuse with Smith, the Link's uncle or caretaker or whatever he is in this game. And then, uh, so that's the first two. Then there's the Goron one, which will take a long time. And off the top of my head, I can't seem to remember what the fourth one is. There's a lot of kinstones in this area. Why are you not charging me? Get out of here, dude. Yeah, take that. Yeah, you have to kill the enemies in order to uh, clear the... Well, that thing. You can also kill those things back there to get those two treasure chests, which are probably just mysterious shells and rupees, so I don't care. And here we are. The Fortress of Winds. This is the temple. So you want to start on either the left or the right door. Don't go in the center one. Not going to be able to progress much in there. There definitely are traps in the temple. I think it's kind of cool. It's very... Kind of Indiana Jones-esque uh, temple. Just with a lot more Stalfos. You know, back to the Stalfos! Or as the D-pad would say, you know, Everybody Stalfos! Dirt! 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 Yeah, that kind of thing. Gee, I wonder what we do with a giant eye switch. Oh, nope. Pulling a John from the D-pad right there. Man, I, I'm, I trust the D-pad way too much. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but, you know. Oops, I didn't even charge that spin attack up. Thought I did, but it's like, no. Oh, God, dude, I've been pressing my sword button. Bullshit. Hopping on me like twice when I was pressing the sword swing. She's like, no. Like, like. I knew that. Everybody's be like, I just know it's like, like. Nobody like likes you. Oh, God. Which way are you going? Of course you're coming this way. Oh god. Oh god. Get out of here. Thanks. I just wanted that red rupee. <laughs> Even though earlier I was like, yeah, I don't need rupees, and now I'm just like, oh, I need rupees. Get out of here, black thing. Wow, that was... I, I, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, but okay, let's... Let's... Let's just... Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oops, nope. There we go. Leave the compasses in here or something. Something like that. Do I even care to get this though? I can't wait to get the sword upgrade where that thing goes where that thing speeds up like so much faster. Two? And these Igor statues, man. Oh, that one only took three, okay. Ah, get out of my face. And you're done. I'm telling you, it's either gonna be the dungeon map or the compass. I know, because I know where the item for the for this level is, and it's not here. It's snot here. Like when you're blowing your nose and there's like snot everywhere. I've done that before, I actually was sneezing. And like I've sneezed and just like shoots everywhere. People are like, that's gross, man. Oh, dude, really? Dude! Dude! Fuck. Oh my god, <laughs> stop! Oh, damn it. There. God damn. Now watch, just like, <laughs> the eyes open again and the door closes. It's like, oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh man, I really cannot wait until I get the faster sword uh, charge and the faster... Oop. Oh wow, that was really close. Oh god. Oh damn. I always hate doing that. You pretty much have to be the uh, bottom lane for that to work. That sucks. Yeah, but I really can't wait till I get the... There's like three upgrades you can get. It's like when you're holding your sword, that how long it takes for this... I'll show you. When you're holding your sword there, see how long it takes for the sword to start turning up? There's an upgrade you can get where it does that a lot faster. Like it like goes blue and charges up like almost immediately. 
Then there's another one you can get where um, the sword gauge, that green bar, it fills up like incredibly fast. Like you won't believe how fast it fills up. And I love it to death. Like I refuse to go through the game without it because like once you get it, you like never want to play the game without it. It's just like this makes everything great. And then there's like a there's a butterfly you can pick up later in the game that allows you to. I think it's shoot arrows faster, and there's another one that lets you use the moments faster. All that stuff. Free hearts in here if you need them. See, it's just sitting there. We don't need it. We're at three hearts. Three heart laser sword. But yeah, uh, anyways, in the next video, we're going to continue on to get the second key that we need in this room to the right. I'll see you there.